Hi there grade nines, so nice to be with you today. Welcome to Worksheet Cloud and our maths section. My name is Jo Milligan and I'm going to be doing construction of geometric shapes with you today. I hope you find this fun. Um, let's see what we're going to be doing. First thing is we're going to be investigating how to bisect an angle. Okay, so the first thing is to understand what bisect actually means and that means to cut it in half. And there's a specific way that we can do this without using a protractor. So we're going to be using our compass. First thing that we need to do is to draw an angle, any angle. It doesn't really matter how big or how small, because you can do this with whatever angle you choose. Um, and we're going to label our lines from the vertex at A to our end of one line, B, and the end of the other line is at C. Right, next thing is we have to use the point of our protractor and we're going to put that onto A. And we are going to draw an arc. So if the arc will cut the line AB and we will name that point P. The next thing, we will use our, the point of our compass again, the same distance apart, and we will draw an arc on AC. And we will label that Q. Um, the next thing we will do is draw another two arcs, one from Q, and we will draw it around like that, and the other one from P. So it's just about holding your compass at a natural position and putting the point each time on the points that we are looking at. So the first one, you're going to put your compass point on A and draw these two arcs. Then you're going to put your compass point on P, and draw that arc and your compass point on Q and draw the other arc. Where those two arcs meet, that is the point we call R. We will then draw a line using our ruler from point A to meet point R where the two arcs cross, like that. Right, we now have bisected the angle BAC so this angle here, BAC, we've cut it in half with line AR. And so because it's bisected, ABR and RAC are equal. There, those two dots depict that they are equal. They show us that they are equal. So BAC has been bisected by line AR, and we get two angles, BAR and RAC, as being equal. Let's look at another angle. This time we're going to use our protractor again to bisect the angle which is a 90 degree angle and we're going to call this angle EDF. Okay, D being the vertex. So again we're going to take our the point of our um, compass, we're going to place it onto D and we are going to draw an arc. Well, first of all, we've got to say that it's 90 degrees. Sorry about that. We're going to draw an arc on D, line DE. Um, and then the same distance, keeping our compass the same distance apart, we're going to then draw a line on DF. And we've named those two points M and N. You can actually name them whatever you like. But this is just for this exercise's sake. Right, from there we're going to then put our compass point back onto that point and we're going to draw the next arc. Your arcs are obviously always drawn between your two lines because drawing them outside the lines is not going to help us bisect, bisect this angle. Right, the next one we're going to draw another arc where you've put your compass on the point N and it crosses over your first arc that you drew, or actually your third arc that you drew. Okay, we then take our ruler, we put it onto point D, and we draw a line up through so that it meets where those two arcs have crossed and at point O, which means that we have now bisected our 90 degree angle. And if we bisect an angle, remember means to cut it in half, that means that each angle is now 45 degrees because we have cut our angle in half. So EDO is the same as ODF and they are both 45 degrees. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of fun with a 60 degree angle. 
um, and it's going to look like a bit of a mess at the end but you can actually carry on cutting an angle in half as many times as you like it just starts looking a bit confusing so we're going to use this um, angle as a b c it's actually angle b a c because a is the vertex we will we know that it's 60 degrees and we're going to use our compass again we're going to put the point of the compass on point a we're then going to draw an arc on a b i've made it a different color so that hopefully you will be able to keep up with the all the different drawings okay the next arc we will draw first of all i think yeah we'll draw the arc on a c and we will label these two x and y then we go ahead and we draw our next two arcs using the points X and Y like we've done in the other two diagrams. Where they cross, we're going to name it Z. We're then going to use our ruler from our vertex, just get it right, from our vertex across to where these two arcs cross. And that will be then two angles, B, A, Z and Z, A, C. And because this whole angle is 60 degrees, each of those two angles will be 30 degrees. Okay, so that is our green drawing. Now we're going to go further than that, and we're going to divide one of our 30 degree angles. So we're going to use ZAC to divide up and see if we can get two angles of 15 degrees. Okay, so we've now taken our compass point again, put it back onto A. And we have cut, we've cut an arc, sorry, excuse my cat. It's now gone, and so we can carry on. I'm not going to draw another line over Y because um, that is already there. So we're going to use this point Y and this point G to draw our next two arcs. And there they are, where they cross over. You know how to do that now. We now again call that another point which is H and we are going to use our ruler from our vertex A and draw another line and there we have it and so now we have actually bisected ZAC ZAC which is our 30 degree angle into two equal angles of 15 degrees each and you can actually carry on having so much fun with this and then even adding your own color and coloring each segment in its own color so i challenge you to try and do something like this you can take a 90 degree angle if you find that easier and you can divide that into two 45 degree angles and then divide your 45 degree angle in half and so on and so on and so on until you can't go anymore it might look like a mess but it's actually a whole lot of fun so i'm going to leave that for you to do as your activity for today there's no worksheet activity but i hope you enjoyed doing this and have fun constructing your own angles remember if there is anything that you need to ask don't forget to email your questions through thank you and see you tomorrow